Today's topic is about glycemic index and diet for the diabetic person. So in detail of this glycemic index, first we will look. So what is glycemic index? It is an index which is increment area under glucose tolerance curve after 50 gram of test meal. Suppose any food stuff is taken in a quantity of 50 gram and that is given and gradually what happen about the plasma glucose level that is measured gradually in a one hour, two hour and three hour. But same way incremental area under cow after 50 gram of reference meal that is glucose powder so what are the test meal that is compared with the 50 gram of reference meal that is glucose and then according to multiplied with a hundred and index that is called glycemic index so in detail it is assessed by the glucose tolerance test the glycemic response means plasma glucose level after the particular diet or food stuff given and compared it with a reference meal and reference meal that is always 50 gram of glucose so reference meal is taken as a 50 gram of glucose so here what happened simple carbohydrate such as glucose glucose powder or refined sugar will have a high glycemic index because they will immediately or easily absorb and that will lead to the sudden rise of a plasma glucose further in detail we will look in this picture so in this graph particular glycemic index curve so here reference meal that is shown as a red color so once it is given 50 gram of glucose after one and one and half hour sudden rise of plasma glucose is seen once insulin is secreted then gradually it will be lower down but what about any test meal or any food stuff the glucose level is not sudden there is a gradually within one and one and half hour once again that insulin is secreted and gradually that glucose level will be rise glucose level will be lowered down so here this test meal and the glycemic index is very important because the sudden rise is very dangerous particularly for a diabetic patient so in detail of this glycemic index we will look so the same quantity of complex carbohydrate will not increase the blood glucose to the same extent because digestion and absorption are slower down simple any complex molecule for the digestion and convert it into the glucose level it will take some time in the intestine so the sudden rise of glucose can be avoidable so the glycemic index of complex carbohydrate is lesser in comparison to the canned sugar which is made up of mostly sucrose and glucose molecule so refined sugar have a highest glycemic index so as a general rule the glycemic index of carbohydrate is lowered if it is combined with the protein fat or fiber by combining with these protein fat and fiber they are converted into the complex molecule and obviously the glycemic index will be lowered down so this glycemic index of the some particular food that is given here so item of food and glycemic index for the potato chips which is most commonly utilized as a fast food component so that is 80 to 90 so it can give comparable to the particular 50 gram of glucose 50 gram of glucose have a glycemic index 100 that is the highest one you can consider second highest that will with the potato chips 80 to 90 for the bread and white rice that is giving 70 to 79 glycemic index for the lower down of glycemic index that is brown rice and with the bananas while beans and peas have 40 to 49 glycemic index which is just half of the original 50 gram of glucose for the legumes peanut milk and ice cream they are advisable to the particular diabetic patients or diabetic person because they are not giving sudden glycemic sudden rise of the blood glucose but gradually glycemic index will be increased means blood glucose will be gradually increased so glycemic index for this milk and ice cream that is 35 to 40 so that is lowest as compared to the other important sugar now for the diet for the diabetic patient management is needs great emphasis on diet and exercise the main aim is to keep the blood glucose level as near the normal value for as many hours as possible in a day the overall blood glucose level will be increased if there is a steep rise in a blood sugar after every meal so that should be taken care of and that should be avoided therefore to maintain the average value near normal we should reduce the postprandial hyperglycemia and for that we can simply divide whatever the calorie or energy in a multiple times so this can be achieved by simple changes like give a low glycemic index diet so sudden rise of glucose can be avoided so that sudden elevation of blood glucose is avoided give the total calories in a small divided doses 
so that small quantity of food is taken at frequent interval instead of taking diet for the only three time person can take particular for the diabetic person can take diet for six time so calorie requirement is distributed into proximate principle in a following manner for a diabetic patient normally we have taken proximate principle in a ratio of 60 gram 20 gram 20 for carbohydrate lipid and protein but for the diabetic patient that is nearby but somewhat difference like carbohydrate with low glycemic index should be 60 to 70 percent fat 15 to 25 percent and protein that is again 15 to 20 percent there is a mild variation but further in relation to this glycemic index other general principle for a diabetic diet is to sugar sweet refined carbohydrate are avoided leafy vegetables green leafy vegetables should be increased in diet as well tubers should be restricted frequent small meals are prescribed with distribution of calories such that it should instead of taking in a three interval it should be taken in a more than three means about six interval breakfast mid morning snack should provide 15 plus 5 that is total 20 percent of total energy lunch should contains 30 percent of total energy requirement evening tea should contains only 10 percent of the energy requirement and further dinner that is 35 percent of the total energy requirement and bed type snack should be given so that is containing only 5 percent of the total energy requirement so instead of giving three time total calorie that it should be divided in a five different group to reduce sudden rise of the blood glucose in the diabetic patient. So although in relation to diabetic it is interesting ice cream contains lots of sugar it has a low glycemic index that we have seen that 35 to 40 only because it contains lots of fat which prevents absorption so if person has taken ice cream but sudden blood glucose level will not rise and it is because of the low glycemic index thus ice cream may be occasionally consumed by this diabetic patient then it's okay but preferably it should be with a sugar free type of molecule so that's all about the glycemic index and important points in relation to the diet for the diabetic patients